Um, you know, the football world kind of lost one of my mentors last week, Bill Tobin. Uh, just wanted to tell his family I love him. Bill's been an instrumental part of my life. I would not be here without him and his family. Uh, I met him when I first started in Cincinnati. Uh, the, the tales are limitless. He's got a great family. His wife, Ducine, is one of the nicest ladies in the world. Uh, son, Duke, is like a brother to me and all his other family. So just wanted to let them know I was thinking about him. And, um, I'll answer any questions you guys got. Sorry for your loss. Oh, we're good. We're good. Again, he would be pissed off if I brought it up. But uh, I love him. I love his family and just wanted to let him know I was thinking about him. Go ahead. What have you seen from the defense since we last spoke to you a couple weeks ago? Uh, yeah, there's been goods and bads. I think the spring is, is very much that way. When you go versus the offense, you're either the best in the world or you stink. Um, so consistency is what we're striving for. You know, we talked about when I first met you guys, laying a foundation um, and building from there. I think we've done a good job with that. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to, to going slow. I recognize that, but that's where our mindset is. I'm very proud of the effort that we're seeing every day. I know that's kind of a, a statement you shouldn't have to make, but um, the guys are running to the ball. That's a key coaching point here. Uh, and execution has been good. So uh, once we get this first floor set, then we'll put the second and the third and the fourth, but we won't go any higher until we got our foundation set. You said when you came in here, you were going to take some time, kind of assess what you had to work with, yeah. and then put a scheme together. Yep. How has that process gone, and what have you seen from what you have? Um, you know, I think we got some guys that can rush the passer. I think we got some guys that can cover. Uh, we got a post agent go red line to red line, so we'll kind of build from there. Uh, obviously, this is 2024, so people come and people go, and, and that's our job as coaches to, to coach the team we have. So to look at us, see who the playmakers are, who are the guys that we need to get shots, you know, those guys that can blitz, those guys that can rush, and, and let them impact the game. You know, I think we've all been a part of something where you know where the ball is going to go, and it's like, well, hey, why didn't they just cover that guy? Um, so we'll try to do the easy stuff first and, and then grow from there. One of the worst rushing defenses in the country last year. How big of a focus has that been for you to improve upon that, and how have you gone about it? Yeah, even taking last year out of it, um, you got to stop the run. Like all the fun stuff you want to do on third down and the exotics and all that stuff that everybody, you know, makes a bu bunch of money speaking at Glazier clinics on. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's second and three, third and one, right? So we got to win early downs. Our job is to get them to second and seven or more, so we can get them to get back on track. So then we can go have fun. So uh, there's a all eleven mindset. Everybody's got a little dirt in their job. You know, you might be a corner that's got a tackle. You might be a nickel, a safety. If you're a three technique, you might have to take on a double team. Uh, but as long as we have that tribe mentality and we're pushing forward, then we'll get to where we want to get to. Shermer has talked about uh, the adjustment from the NFL. Yeah. That the game is different. How has that been for you? Like the different hashes? Yeah, the first day you kind, of, uh, you kind of go walk these hashes. Like, golly, these things are wide. Um, so it adjusts some of the spot drop stuff that we do. Um, football's football, right? So it's still 11 on 11. Um, I try not to make too much out of it. But yeah, there are some things from a schematic standpoint that if we are going to play a vision and break defense, that, that we got to be a little bit wider because that's how it is here. Um, and again, the guys have done a great job. I think there was a great structure here um, in terms of kind of the vision and break stuff, and we've, we've grown with that. Uh, but it's really all on the players. It's our job to put them in position to be successful. And once we do that, uh, I think we'll like the results. Coach, you, just having played in coach's position, what yep. have you seen from Cam and Shiloh so far? Yeah, I think they've done a great job. I tell them all the time, you know, leaders got to lead from the front, and uh, I think that's their key, right? They are the, the heartbeat of this defense, right there in the middle. They're our quarterback. That's why we run the meetings uh, the way that we run them. You know, they've got a, a vested interest and a say in this defense. Um, you know, I, I think communication is imperative, and they've done a great job grasping where they fit in the defense. And once you do that, the game slows down. So uh, really pleased with Cam, with Shiloh, with Duke, with Herm, really with all of them. You know, we've had buy-in from the whole group the whole time. Um, so very lucky to be coaching that position. You've, you've used the basketball analogy, getting yep. the, the shooter's shots. You're just 13 practices in, but yeah. have there been some guys that have jumped out in that sense? Yeah, we got some shooters. Uh, we got some shooters, so it's our job to feature them. Um, it can't be an every down thing. Again, there's always a little dirt in everybody's job, but you know, when it's a got to have it game on the line, you know, I think we have a pretty good feel of who we want covering, who we want rushing, how we want the structure to be. So uh, two more opportunities, and then obviously fall camp comes, and, and you look at what you got and, and build a game plan from there. And then obviously by week, you know, it's, it's anybody but whoever the, their best player is, and that's always the kind of the focus of what we do. Clearly, you've been working with NFL defensive backs for what, the last decade, yep. right? So what have you seen out of Travis Hunter so far in the early goings of your relationship? Uh, Travis is a unicorn. Um, I think the best example is, you know, Travis was playing a wide receiver uh, one of our third down days, so he gets eight to nine reps at wide out and then kind of jogs over to us, and I'm like, hey, dude, you need a break? And he kind of looks at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, oh, uh, all right, great. Well, you got him. Go ahead. Um, so I think Travis can be as good as he wants to be. I think the sky is the limit. Uh, he's an immensely talented kid. He's a great kid. I've never seen him have a bad day. Um, I don't mean to make this into an infomercial for Travis, but um, I haven't seen anything bad. So uh, we can build with people like that for sure, uh, not only because who he is on the grass, 
but who he is in the building. Uh, means a lot to me, means a lot to us, and, and I'm glad he plays for us. Coach, Shaul told us last week that you, you kind of have a modeling his game a little bit after Jesse Bates. What kind of similarities do you see between those two players, and how do you kind of envision him kind of being able to emulate parts of Jesse's game? Yeah, I mean, that's a great uh, role model, I think, uh, especially uh, every Tuesday when he gets a check. But, uh, you know, Jess is, Jess is the best. Jace came to me as a 20-year-old kid, um, ability to go kind of red line to red line. Jess was not that big as his uh, rookie year. I almost said freshman. I'm, I'm getting indoctrinated in college. Um, and his ability to play the deep part of the field was, was rare, and that's why he is who he is. So, you know, with Shiloh, that's something we, we strive on. I think nowadays um, kids like watching people they can be like. Um, so there's some uh, examples that way with Jesse, with Justin. And Simmons with those guys who play in the post and can go get the ball for sure. Coach, you have obviously you've lost some guys in the portal. Yep. You're going to get some guys in the portal. Yep. What's that process like as far as getting them involved? Is it sort of similar to NFL when you're bringing in draft picks and free agents, things like yeah, that? Yeah. I think, you know, for me, um, the way my brain works is I have to put in buckets. So this is a combination of phase two of free agency and then top 30 college visits. So, um, you know, people will come, people will go, I transferred, so I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say like, hey, stick it out, because I left, right? It is what it is. I wasn't good enough to play at Western Michigan, so I transferred to William Mary. Um, so you always want opportunities for these guys. The game quits on everybody eventually. You know, you got four, you got five years uh, to think about it for the rest of your life. So um, if they're looking for that opportunity, that's great. We wish them luck. And then the guys that are coming, uh, we feel strongly enough about our culture and who we are here in the locker room that it can cultivate growth uh, with new people. So um, it's 2024. It is what it is, right? Um, the guys that are here as, uh, what was it, Bo Schimbeckler, I guess those that stay will be champions. Uh, and that's kind of the rallying cry here. It's obviously been a while for you since you've been a part of a spring game. What are you just hoping to get out of it, whether atmosphere-wise and just from the guys as well, what you're looking to see on Saturday? Uh, I'm excited to see the stadium, you know, candidly. Uh, I've watched a lot of film, a lot of home games. And to everybody's credit, uh, even late in the year, the place is packed. Uh, I'm excited to feel that atmosphere. I'm excited to, to see what it's like to be here under the mountains and kind of everything that you took the job for. Um, and then it's a special day, right? I, I think it's lost too much. Like these guys worked so hard. I mean, year round for what? For 12 opportunities. Um, so let's make this the 13th. It's, it's the only thing that's guaranteed to us. So let's go out. Let's have fun. Let's play fast. Let's leave it all out there. And then really, at the end of the day, you got two or three months to think about. Oh, I wish I would have. So if you're gonna make a mistake, make it full speed. Uh, I'm excited to again see what the, the atmosphere is like. Can't wait to see Buff Nation, and and really happy to be here. Thanks, Coach. Good. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Coach. Appreciate it.